There is a risk when you become too familiar with some passages of Scripture. You might be thinking, well, this passage I know very well. I know what it is about. And from that point on, you don't pay much attention to whatever new that passage could bring to your life. My own secret in dealing with this difficulty that I myself have, of course, is trying to focus myself into those details that I don't fully understand. Take, for example, today's passage from the Gospel according to Mark. It is from chapter 6. You see that the evangelist tells us Jesus was praying by himself. At the same time, he was aware of the difficulties the disciples were going through. But Jesus stays in his prayer. And then he descends into the sea, well, actually, walk on the sea, but he means to pass by them. It is like waving and saying, hello, here I am, but he continues his way, on his way. So this is a bit mysterious, isn't it? You see that he knows the trouble they are having, but he's doing nothing, and then he passes by, and he leaves them by themselves. Something like, I hope you can sort that out, guys, and so long. That's a mystery. And the other mystery I find in today's passage is that the evangelist tells us that the disciples were astounded, and that I can understand very well. Of course, you have to be astounded to see someone walking on the sea. But he also says that their hearts were hardened. Their hearts were hardened. What does that mean? So they had difficulty getting the sense, getting the meaning of the miracles Jesus was doing. They couldn't understand the full meaning of that. Well, as for the first question, Jesus is watching all this difficulty of the disciples, but that doesn't mean that the difficulty was something bad for them. I'm sure that Jesus was loving them and taking care of them all the time. But probably the best thing to do at that time was to leave them by themselves so as to prepare the posterior revelation, the posterior manifestation. So it, it is not that God has to intervene every time that something is annoying me. No, sometimes it is good for me to be annoyed. It is good for me to get into some trouble and to go through some difficulties. That's good for me and that's part of God's love. And we can learn that from today's gospel. And secondly, this might be also the explanation for the second question. Probably because their hearts were so hardened, they were unable to fully understand that the multiplication of the loaves was far more than getting plenty of food. So we are invited to purify our sights and to purify our hearts so as to receive the full meaning of everything God is doing for us, even if it is not exactly what we were expecting at the first sight at the first time.